This is a Hello Glass with the Glass Artist interview. Let's get started. What is your name and are you a glass artist? I am definitely a glass artist. My name is Dylan Luck. How long have you been making glass and do you consider yourself a master? No, I don't consider myself a master. I've um, been doing furnace work for about a year. We're also looking for about eight months. Your favorite style or type of glass to create with? Uh, it's kind of a tie between furnace glass and boro. What state do you call home for your glass shop? Um, Colorado. Do you own or work for a glass brand or use an art name? Mm, well, my glass bar name is Glob and Nasty. Do you make a lovely living solemnly off the of glass working? Uh, well, I, I have a part-time job helping my dad out at his clinic, but I sell the shops here and there. I, I wouldn't say a full-time living, but I'm still making money off of it. If you can make glass with anyone living, who would that person be? I know, I mean, that's, that's a... It's a kind of a tough question in a way. I guess, like, it, it depends, I guess, if it's like a... I don't know if it's just a really good friend, you know, that'd be cool, or if it's like a more of a relationship thing, you know, I mean, that, that'd be chill, too. I mean, I just, uh, I don't know, I guess whatever happens. What style or technique of glass is the hardest for you to make? Technique. I guess at the moment, ground joints, like welding ground joints together. Name two people that have taught or influenced your glass skills. Um, let's see here. Mike Penn, Mike Penn found. Um, L.K. Richardson. James Ashkar. Um, let's see. Curtis Jarman. Is there any style or technique of glass that you would or will learn in the future? I really want to do lathe work someday. Name two glass artists that impress you. Hmm, um, let's see. Paul Stankard and Bondu Scott Dunham. What styles or techniques in glass amazed you when you first saw them? Well, I really, what amazed me the most first was that the fact that it just took so much heat to melt something, you know, that's so solid, and I don't know, I was just really attracted to all the, all the heat and stuff, and I guess I was really attracted that you can basically make anything out of glass, anything, well, maybe not everything, but mostly anything, and yeah, it's pretty cool. Worst injury you ever got from making glass art? Um, uh, I kissed the torch on my arm. What do you wish to accomplish in the glass industry? Um, well, I mean, I don't, I don't need to be famous. I mean, if it happens, whatever. But I really just want to just make a living with it and just have fun. How does, a gla how does a glass fan get to see or buy your work? Uh, you say glass fan? Yeah, just anyone that wants to buy your work, how can they get it? Oh, uh, you can go on my Facebook. It's my, um, you can just look me up. I'm Dylan Luck. That's my, that's my, that's my real name. Uh, and then, uh, I don't have any business cards yet, but pretty soon, like I will. Okay, um, you have three minutes to save the world. What you want, go for it. Three minutes to save this world, you say? Yeah, just anything about glass. Um, well, I mean, I just, uh, I love, um, I just love it. just, uh, can't get away from it. <laughs> Uh, I think it's it's amazing. Just uh, like like I don't like cold stuff. I like hot stuff. You know. <laughs> and yeah, I just glass is one of those things. I guess that you have to really kind of experience to really get.
I mean, you can you can watch it and buy stuff, but it's just making it as a totally different experience. This was a Hello Glass, Real Glass Artist interview. Thank you so much for your time.